This is not how to win an actual reasonable argument against an intelligent person. This is how to win a stupid argument against morons. Uh, so <laughs> with meme tactics, I'm going to be using Twitter as a point of reference because that's the only social media I use, so it's the only one I'm really familiar with. Uh, I'm sure this will work in other places too. Uh, so the first thing I'll go through is meme tactics. Meme tactics are incredibly powerful. Um, now, let's get one thing out of the way first. When we're trying to have an argument with someone on the internet, you're, you're not trying to actually, you know, convince them of your points or anything like that. If you are, then this video is not uh, not for you. What you're trying to do is win uh, the audience's minds. Um, and you can do that through charisma and humor and stuff like that. You don't actually have to have any reasonable points at all, um, which has helped me a lot because I never have any reasonable points. You don't have to be well-researched or whatever. In fact, uh, a strange thing exists on the internet, which is the person, if, if you're a person who comes into an argument and you start posting links to loads of sources, you look like an asshole. Um, that's, that's what's crazy about the internet. Uh, so let's, let's go over meme tactics. Obviously, the end goal of any argument is to try and get the other person to block you. That's like a, an easy win, but you can also win through just winning the, the audience over. Uh, they, they might not seem like they're there, that's because they're not, they only exist in your head, but that's the point of it anyway. Uh, so meme tactics, you're gonna start, you're gonna wanna get your, uh, your soy jack and, uh, smug anime girl folders pretty well prepared, uh, before any argument. You're gonna make sure you have plenty of soy jacks and plenty of smug anime girls. Because as we all know, one of the most effective argument tactics, and this, is, this may sound like I'm joking right now, but I'm genuinely, I'm being, uh, 100% real. Uh, one of the most effective argument tactics on the internet is to just quote whatever they say with a soy jack image. And there is no comeback for it. They, and then... Uh, keep doing it and say see the next time if they say you can't just you, you can't just post me as a soy jack You just post another soy jack and say see that's it's very easy That's a very easy tactic um, It will also help if you're depending on what kind of community you're in if you post a smug anime girl with every argument you make uh, Because then you look like you're being smug when you're saying it and they will just look like they're saying it flatly and the uh, Generally, with arguments, they'll be interpreted as being mad, and you don't want to be seen as mad online. So that's another key thing to take into into account. You never want to look like you're mad. Uh, you want to look like everything is very chill to you and easy to you. But those are the meme tactics, right? Smug anime girls and um, soy jacks. So keep that in mind because a soy jack is always somewhat useful. Uh, it, it generally is a pretty good tactic. But now let's talk about genuine actual argument. So there's a, there's a clip from the show Community. I don't really like community, but I've seen this clip, and I, I like this clip, where the guy, he says, like, how to win an argument. Um, when, when someone tries to make an argument with you, this is another key important thing, is that you shouldn't really start arguments, you should try and only have arguments started with you. On the internet, the person who starts the argument generally looks like the asshole, so um, try, and, try and have arguments started with you rather than going out and starting shit with other people, but... Uh, when someone tries to make an argument with you, they, they're, they're, taking, they're drawing a circle around the truth. And so all you have to do is find something outside of that circle, which is true, and then let them argue themselves to, de to death. With, like, let them argue with themselves about those two things. So that's a, that's a good way to do it. Uh, so, yeah. If, if, let, me, let, me, let me get a pen. This is, this is diagram. It's diagram time, baby. It's diagram time. Okay, so... Do I have a piece of paper? This will do. I don't know what this is. Is this important? No. Okay. Um, so, when someone tries to start an argument, they they draw, they have the truth, and they draw a circle around the truth. All you have to do is find anything in the world that is true, but is outside their circle. Then you just let themselves argue with themselves until they die. Right? Uh, this is a, actually a pretty common tactic on the internet. So, um, uh, yeah, you just, you just have to let them argue with themselves. So, but you said X, but you also said X. It doesn't that how can you blah, blah, blah. That's it. That's an easy thing to do. Now, this is such a common tactic at this point, because that, that clip is very famous, and a lot of people know this sort of tactic innately, that I'll teach you a counter to it as well. The counter to it, um, is, is to just concede that point. So you, you say, that may be true, but my point still stands, and then you repeat your point. So, um, when someone says like, oh, you think this, but this is also true, and that doesn't fit in your circle, you just say, 
that may be that may be the case. However, my point still stands. X, right? And this is a this is a good way to uh, to to deflect from these sorts of things. And uh, another important thing added on to that um, is that you should never be on the defensive on the internet. Uh, you always want to be attacking the other person's position. You never want to let yourself be on the defensive because even then you're conceding a point. So what you want to be doing? For fu I swear to God, I never get messages until I start recording. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, now another important point that links on to uh, never being on the defensive, never playing defense, is that you want to make your you, you never want to give your opponent the opportunity to make a reasonable argument. You want to frame their argument as either completely absurd. Or completely obvious so uh, never let them seem like they're making a reasonable point you'll, you'll be able to uh, depending on what the actual argument is you can choose either one so you might be you might you might let's say you're you're, you're a right-wing guy who's against universal health care someone says we should have universal health care you could say that's completely absurd there's like that's such an absurd raggy thing what's next universal you know, you can just go slippery slope with it, you can do anything with it, right? You can go, that's so completely absurd. Or you can go the other way, and like, well, yeah, of course, everyone wants, everyone would love if universal healthcare was free, everyone would love that. But it's so obvious that everyone would love that, but there's no way it's ever going to happen, because blah, 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 and then accuse them of something. <laughs> uh, now, one thing that will happen on the internet, which is always fun when, when arguing with Redditors especially, is they'll accuse you of using logical fallacies. Uh, normally, with perfect reasonability they're probably right about this uh if anyone does that you accuse them of deflecting you 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 just you, you, even if they're completely right about you even if you, you have been ad hominem ad hominiming them you just say why are you deflecting why won't you answer my questions blah blah blah, blah. makes them look like an idiot for trying to deflect um uh, another thing uh, is uh, you want to check people's profiles and the reason you want to check people's profiles is uh, really, you don't want to be using ad hominems in general because people know what an ad hominem is. If you really end up doing it, you can always point to the guy who invented the ad hominem fallacy was a, like a weirdo, and you can just bring up his Wikipedia article. Uh, but really, that's playing defense too hard. You 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 don't want to be playing that much defense. But if you have to, you can do that. But the reason you want to check someone's profile is you probably won't find anything useful. You're looking for gold. Let me tell you what gold is. Gold is uh, uh, hopefully somewhat somewhat recently or in their bio or something like that, they have rest in peace and then a family member or loved one or dog or something like that. So for example, if someone has like rest in peace Marco on their bio, uh, you've won that argument because all you, no matter what they say, they start an argument with you, you just say, where's Marco at though? That's all you do and you've won the argument. You never have to actually argue with them. You just you just say, where Marco at though? And then, leave, then never reply to them again. Then just completely leave them just ranting at you for no reason. You've won that argument. That's what you're looking for. Uh, you can't do that with anything else, though. You can't ad hominem them about anything else, uh, except uh, in certain cases uh, where you could just uh, reply to them with a, with their just their avatar. You don't have to actually say a message. You just reply to them with a picture, just their their profile picture. This works specifically well if they're ugly, of course. If, if any anyone's stupid enough to have their profile picture um, be an actual picture of them, then this works very well. Um, you, you can also pair this with Opinion Discarded. This works as well for K-pop stands as well. So the K-pop Avi Opinion Discarded, that works well. Uh, you could even do it with anime. Anime Avatar pick Opinion Discarded, that works too. Uh, you, can, you can use Opinion Discarded pretty, pretty well uh, for everything. Uh, just call them out for something and then just stop replying to them because <laughs> then they're just seething. Uh, and if you do reply, you just reply with seethe or cope or something like that and a, a soy jack or a smug anime girl. Uh, it's, it's fairly simple. Uh, so yeah, that's a, that's a good way to win an argument. No, let, let me check my notes real quick. Oh, this is going to stop recording if I check my notes. It's going to be fucking annoying. Okay, I can't check my notes. I think I had one more point to make. Um, something about never letting your... I told you never let your opponent have a reasonable argument. I remember. The last underhanded tactic. I remember. Um, so... One thing that's important is creating the illusion of consensus. You, you never want to feel like you're fighting on... You never want to make it look like you're ba uh, fighting on the back foot. You always want to make it look like you have consensus opinion behind you because it's a lot... Truth is really just consensus opinion. And so if you want your argument to look true, you just have to make it seem like everyone believes it. And uh, it takes a lot of balls for someone to argue uh, everyone in the world is wrong except me. If someone actually has those balls, then you're probably fucked. But you, you make... <laughs> that's the idea. You want it to seem like the consensus is with you. Uh, this is used in politics all the time, where everyone wants to be both the consensus and an oppressed minority. 
uh, because both of those are useful in an argument. So uh, if you can somehow manage to make yourself look like both the consensus opinion and a, an oppressed minority, you've basically won that argument. Conservatives are very good at this. Uh, they, you know, they, 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 uh, they, they do a lot of like, the, this is an attack on conservative type of situation. And they also do like, uh, uh, the, the silent majority agree with us. They, they do both of those. Uh, leftists also do this as well, though. I mean, let's be honest, they kind of invented the, <laughs> they invented the whole shtick. They didn't actually, uh, the Nazis did. So, uh, you want to look like you have consensus on your side and a good way to do that, a very underhanded tactic. And it kind of looks like, you look like a, and you completely lose the argument. If they point this out, you might be fucked. But if you can put it off, it works, which is to just message your friends on discord and be like, Hey, can you come to this thread and like all of my posts and not like any of the other person's posts? That way it looks like you have the audience on your side and it's epic. It's an epic moment. And if they call it out for it, if you get, if they call you out for it, if they say, Oh, you're getting all your little friends to like your posts? How pathetic. You just accuse them of, uh, um, fucking trying to d derail. You just accuse them of derailing, like, Oh, why you don't want you answer my fucking question then? Retard, smug anime girl, and stuff like that. You, you, you never, you want to come off as obnoxious as possible, but also, like, like, you're not mad at all. You want to be so calm, and you want to seem like everyone agrees with, already agrees with you. And you want to make your opponent seem completely unreasonable, either because, uh, they're saying something so obvious that everyone already knows it, or because they're saying something so absurd that no one would even consider it. Uh, so yeah, that's the idea. Um, you can also, I don't know, yeah, I would, I would avoid personal attacks unless the person it has, like, something very obvious about them that is attackable. Um, like, I don't personally like the pronouns in bio opinions discarded, because that's, like, such a, at this point, that's a, a very normal thing to have. Uh, I mean, it's not very normal, but it's fairly, fairly commonplace, so... Uh, discarding someone's opinion for that is it makes you look like a bit uh, behind the times and you don't want to look like that uh, even though you know I don't really give a shit if someone has a pronoun in their bio or not uh, some people will, will use that as an opinion discarded leverage I won't use that as opinion discarded leverage but uh, I will call someone out if they look ugly that's a, that's a good one uh, so yeah uh, that's how you want an, an argument on the internet Find, find what the person is saying. You want to try and make them state their point uh, in, a, in a really, like, oversimplified manner. So so you, you want to be like, can you very clearly present... You want to try and convince them to present a very clear argument to you uh, because then you can just keep calling back to that. There's no way someone can... In, in 140 characters or whatever the fuck a tweet is, you, there's no way someone can actually present a complex argument in 140 characters. So there are always going to be flaws, and that is the truth. That's what I said before about drawing a circle around the truth. That tweet is going to be the circle around the truth. You just have to find one flaw in that, and then let them argue with themselves about that. You just have to reflect their own points back at them and be like, but I thought you said this, but like, and, and make them seem like they're completely internally inconsistent. And if they're stupid, they won't concede that point. They'll just be like, uh, that they, they're too egotistical, and they'll be like, no, I'm right the whole time. Now, there is another hidden technique there's a hidden technique like a fucking anime to winning an argument on the internet. And this is, all, this is only for advanced users. This is only for advanced, advanced users. Uh, but it can be incredibly effective when pulled off uh, well. And that is to out-schizo your opponent. You want to seem completely batshit insane. And this is called the based tactic. Because it's possible to get people quote tweeting you saying based when you do this. But it's difficult to pull off. You have to be, you have to have a good audience you have to cultivate a good audience. It's it's difficult. You you, you have to be uh, very experienced. I have only pulled this off a couple of times in my life, and it's it's uh, that was a long time ago. Back when I was when I was a different man. I was a different man back in the war, back in the internet wars of, you know, <laughs> a couple of years ago. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's how you win an argument on the internet. You 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 do all the things I just said.